I have a cast of a fossil that was found in Mongolia of a velociraptor and a chicken's foot bones that I put together. So the, the biggest difference between the velociraptor and the chicken is that on this part of the foot it's made up of these three bones right here and then some smaller bones at the end that make up the uh, ankle joint. And the chicken, it's just one one solid bone all the way up. And those little bones are there in the developing embryo and they just are fused together. And in the embryo, it starts out with three individual bones running to each toe right there. And then before it hatches, they get fused together into one solid bone. So the, the chicken starts out very similar to the velociraptor and then it just fuses bones together. And the first toe on the chicken is curved around at the back to help it perch. And the velociraptor, that toe is in line with the other ones. And the, the number of bones in each toe is exactly the same. So on the first one here, we've got one, two, one, two. And this one, there's one, two, three on the chicken. And one, two, three on the velociraptor. There's, let's see, four bones in the middle toe on each one. And then five bones on the last toe of each one. And this velociraptor would be very representative of the theropod dinosaurs, so like the T-Rex or the Allosaur. They'd have very, very similar feet to this. They just wouldn't have this velociraptor killer claw. Um, so I just thought that was kind of neat how similar a bird and a theropod dinosaur foot are. It's something you can notice if you ever go look at dinosaur tracks out west. They just kind of look like big bird tracks.